Hi everyone, welcome to Go Local Live. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel. Thanks for joining us at the Rhode Island State House. A lot taking place here today. I would like to welcome on my first guest, Senator Walter Felag. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. I appreciate it. Of course, you can hear a lot taking place in the background behind us, and we'll have another guest shortly. We wanted to have you on to discuss your piece of legislation addressing a very popular topic here in Rhode Island. That would be craft breweries. Now, in years past, they have expanded the amount that brewers can sell to the public because it's a slightly different category. And now this year, going to look from a half a case to a full case, and we're seeing the proliferation again of brewers and distillers. So talk with us about this legislation. Well, basically, Kate, uh, what transpired a couple of years ago was that the manufacturing license, which the uh, craft brewery industry utilizes to uh, sell and uh, uh, distribute their, uh, their beer or distillery uh, needed to be worked on. And so we worked closely with Senator Sosnowski and other senators and reps, and we came up with some legislation that said that these manufacturing licenses or breweries could have or sell up to three 12 ounces of beer or three one and a half ounces of distilled liquor at the establishment but more importantly, expanded from uh, uh, selling a six pack to selling a case of beer or selling uh, from 375 of distilled uh, liquor to 750. Now this piece of legislation, what it does is what we found that a lot of these uh, breweries sell 16 ounce cans, not 12 ounce cans. Mm. So because of the fact that it was uh, 288 ounces, which divided by 16 ounces gives you only 18 and not a case, uh, we decided to expand the legislation to create a 12 ounces of a case of beer or 24 a case of 16 ounces. So again, starting at that low number, gradually increasing, what are you hearing from your constituents and the public just to have that capacity to be able to take some more home with them at one time? Well, I think it's a good thing. I, I think it's a win-win situation because it not only uh, provides a, a vibrant Rhode Island community, that possibly we could have the next Sam Adams, you know, craft brewery here in the state of Rhode Island, but also, uh, it allows those uh, manufacturing licenses to sell their product uh, at their establishment and to promote tourism. Um, I've had two of my sons uh, go to college, one in uh, Colorado, and uh, before he graduated, my brother and I went to visit him, and we took a tour of the uh, Coors Brewery out there. And then my other son uh, graduated maybe six or seven years ago from uh, University of Kentucky, and we were able to take the bourbon tour. So I think it's an alternative for tourism, so that when individuals here in the state of Rhode Island, they can decide whether they want to go to the mansions, or go to the beach, or if they went to the beach and had too much sun one day, they can take a tour of our distilleries. So what are you hearing from your colleagues about this piece of legislation? Do you think it has the support moving forward to see this expansion happen? Well, I, I think it most definitely does, because if you look at our industry a couple of years ago, we probably only had 14 uh, breweries, at craft breweries, and now we have close to 30 of them, and in it's expanded business, and uh, people, especially young people, like that opportunity to uh, taste these different craft beers. Well, I appreciate your taking the time to come share with us a little bit about the legislation. Senator yeah. Walter Felag will provide links to that bill as well and more of a description, but wanted you to come on and tell us a little bit more about well, it. Well, I appreciate Thank it. You. This okay. is my first time I've gone local, <laughs> and uh, hope I can be invited back in the future. Okay, Thank you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Go Local Live.